It is. Hi, how are you? Nice to Have you gone you. against Oliver before? Yeah. Rami, you need food still? Yeah. Is he, is he good? Where, where is that? I where do. are you, Norman? Prayer. 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 No. They give that fucker his board seats. <laughs> Kidding me? Like, I've never, I've never met him before. Apparently, he used oh to be. Oh my god, he has a super condescending nose. Do more, Norman. Of course. A drink if you need to. Uh, Ron. Might piss you off, Sammy. Yeah, I, I need you to. Oh, yeah, sure. I need you to knock over. That worked. Oh uh, yeah, Sebastian, I got you too. Are you? Uh, yeah. There was a reason I went to body count. I am a good girl. I assumed Siobhan sent you or asked you, but I just did on my own accord. Siobhan, let me talk to you real quick. Yo, Siobhan, can I talk to you? Uh, yeah, how'd it go up? Why is he here? Fucking... I hired a, fuck, hired a bunch of amateurs, bro. Um, oh, listen, you hired, it's fine. We you can hired still plebs. Yeah, no, no, he, it, listen. Dumbass. He's a little bitch and he's not good in court. Yeah, I he's give ass. a fucker his if we bar keep, license. If, if, I know his if weaknesses. If we keep uh, objecting him, he'll f fluster. He gets, he gets I, on tilt. I know how to do the he literally gets who are the, Can you just give me the TLDR? Who are the witnesses that are getting questioned? It's Murphy and who um, else? Murphy, hold on, let me go look. Uh, Murphy, uh, I think Slacks, whatever Why is, officer And why is Slacks called? being cash, uh, questioned? It's because he was there on scene? I think he, yeah. Okay, and then, and then what? I was also asking if he had prosecutorial discretion on the charges. Does he agree with the charges? Because if he doesn't even agree with them or want them pushed, I'm not gonna lie, they were giving kind of him a plea deal. Up. Murphy? But yeah, of all misdemeanors. What were the misdemeanors? Criminal possession, brandishing, and use. Criminal possession is like what of a class one instead? Yeah. He didn't know, like, because they don't want me to, because they don't want us to destroy no, constructive possession, to, I, I, which is what we're going that's to not do. That's what I asked. I asked them to see if they have an offering a plea deal, and that's what he said. I was Sounds trying to, get, I was trying to talk to him so he can get kidnapped. So oh, I, I, okay, had I got amateur. you. I got you. I got you. Awesome. How are you doing today? Fine. Are you the individual who decided to cut me off on my way here? Oh, I remember you. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was all five minutes ago. I hope you. I have no idea about this case. Yeah. To be real. It's not that. I just don't know if they're no, gonna be like, no, oh, no, oh, no, who are you? You know what no, I mean? No, they're gonna let her speak. They will. No, no, no. I'm good with following whatever you guys want to do. I, I'm not, I'm not here to cross any lines. Hey, honestly, yo, throw me a couple too, so I can just like make them look stupid, you know? So be like, damn, Ryan, okay, Ryan, yeah, yeah, throw some, throw Rami some to really, Romy you know for sure. I mean? <laughs> yeah, give it, yeah, give yeah, it. yeah, no, 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 yeah. I just want to make sure because I know some people think that I get like ridiculous and stuff. That's not my intention, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can full sweat, but just like you know, full sweat with with I mean, full you know sweat parentheses with with Riz. She can be? Yes. Full sweat with Riz. Listen, Got it. team. I just hey, want to uh, say this is already really spicy. Off, I think this is going to be a great case, and you're all going to do a great job. I'm really proud of all of you. In all in all seriousness, okay. we put a lot of work into this. Thank you. I'm just taking. I, I, be, I believe in all of you, all 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 toxicity aside. Yeah, what's that? Not that much, bro. You have, a, you have a good chance of this. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. If I win, Murphy's he's giving me twenty five k. Brother, if you win this, if you win this, JP, can oh, yeah, you his charge for the thirty six days. <clears throat> La 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 I already had it here, right? It's good myself. seeing you again. I'll I'll, I'll catch you down to see your buns like we talked about. Just talking to myself yeah, and exactly. not overhearing what conversations. Think, sure, let me let me talk to you over here, right? I know, I got you, dog. This is sick. Are you dumb or are you just a fucking idiot? Which one? God, it would be so monumental if he won He doesn't know that X did that to him. Yeah, and he's, he's just, gonna put two and two together that the reason why this happened to him is because he ruled on X's nah, thing. Nah, nah. Yes, he does, because he already knows. No, nah. Right? Right? I don't want to hear it, right? Did you clear your house out or what? Yeah, we finally cleared the house. And guess what? There was nothing in there. Uh, there's no cops that showed up. Well, yeah. you'll make sure that shit stays cleared out. All right, all right. Hey, we go hey you better fucking win this, all right? Wait. Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna win this shit. Okay. I win I win I win this. Uh X gets a sub, uh, successful yeah, appeal. Okay. There's a lot riding on this case. <laughs> Hey, any of you guys got cigarettes? Cops? Uh, yeah, I got a cigarette. I, I do actually. I, I like, like, it looks cool, you know? Yeah, yeah no, of course. I, 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 I think nicotine oh, no, addictions are the coolest things that anybody can have. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, I'm so I dumb. I don't have a cigarette. Yo, um, Kit, I appreciate that, honestly. The, the dinner the other day was really, it was awesome. Oh.
Just go with it. 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 Shut up and go with it. Why do you keep telling people we're hanging out when we're not? That was awesome. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec, Ray. My bad. I just have to talk to somebody. Oh, okay. Could you go ahead and do a count of uh, each one of those responsible individuals? They is on the prosecution and also the defense. Make defense sure is ready. Have everybody here. No. All right, you can let me finish making it there before. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. I'm eager. Yes, clearly. All righty. Hey, prosecution, do I have everyone that you all need over there as well? Yes, Your Honor. Witnesses. Uh, Your Honor, I did want to provide notice that we don't believe that Dr. Devereaux will be testifying today. I don't believe she's present. Why? She's not present. Did he ask? Was there a reason behind that? She has a court summit. And I don't see anything to strike that anywhere. No, certainly, Your Honor. It, from my understanding, I, I've tried to get in contact with her. I've been in, unable to do so. So we don't intend to call her during this proceeding. Defense, was this individual pertinent for your cross-examination at all, any point? Uh, let me just check one thing, Your Honor. I mean, do we... Was Ava notified on the docket? Oh, uh, is the medical report in evidence? Oh. Yeah. And the only thing that's in evidence is the report number whatever nine something. That's at the end. Of yeah, the we did have a motion as well from the end. Uh, with respect to the medical report, Your Honor. Yeah, where is it? It is contained within the police report. Exhibit A. What motion are you referring to? Was it done beforehand or not? No, Your Honor. Well, it's in we the like police report 956 or whatever the fuck we're calling the number again now. It, it is in there. Oh, we, we will defer to the um, uh, Your Honor's evaluation of the medical report provided in the evidence. It is on P. Could you do me a favor? Could you let him finish his sentence there? Oh, sorry. He's okay, pissing her off. Honor. Yeah, we did want to present. Siobhan, you're fucking pissing him off. Prior to trial, <laughs> we wanted to present a motion to reconsider the motion to strike portions of the police report, and then a second motion to strike the medical report on the grounds that it can't be properly authenticated since Dr. Devereaux is going to be testing trial today. Uh, your Honor, that it... your, 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 your Honor, respectfully, uh, Dr. Oh, well, let, let, let him finish there before they. This... <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, Your Honor, I'm the best evidence rule. This is a copy from my understanding of the medical report that was and since it's not the original document, the report itself, then it would be indivisible. Your Honor, it's a medical report, okay? If it's automatically uh, finalized and exported and attached to a thing, that means the person gave it, the one who wrote the report is one that gave that person, the, uh, us to uh, file it for during discovery phase. So it is a validated document. That's like saying a police report isn't a validated document. Well, actually, Your Honor, we have a, an additional uh, rebuttal as well. Sami, go. Uh, Your Honor, if there's portions of that report that need to be stricken itself, where the defense moves the motion to strike the entire report for the people's day. Mm. If, if, mm. if, if the officers are not confident that the report that they submitted and subsequently submitted to amend the report, then we do not believe that the evidence is sufficient or probative enough to proceed mm. with the report. Bear with me a second. Let me take a look at this. <laughs> That's right. That's right, guys. I'm in love with you. What is your argument? Sammy. <laughs> We're Just saying that it was a copy of a report, not the actual version of the <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> to your side. I don't need to be child. Yes, sir. Here. Yes, sir. Hey, Anybody got another cigarette? Leash, please. Uh, excuse me? Exu Why the hell would he need a leash? Are you into puppy play, man? <laughs> because he's acting childish. I Your Honor, understand. I have I vowed it. children on leashes. Your Honor, this might not be pertaining to the case, but I have... How do I say this? Concrete evidence that this captain here has a whole porn warehouse inside his house. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. The only thing I have stashed is Jesus Christ in my heart. Yeah, man. real. Amen. <laughs> yeah, right there. All right, so let me go back to that. <clears throat> the whole uh, medical report. Here's what I'm in the basis of. Frankly, 
is that this is going to be used at any point in time between either individuals, and it is medically validated, which it seems to be so. If one side needs to use it, then there is no reason to strike it. It is entered into it. I have ruled on it before. I had denied it. I will allow it to exist. Formulate your strategies accordingly. All right. Thank you, Your Certainly, Honor. Your Honor. And just to clarify, was that a ruling on both motions to strike, or can we present yes. an argument as still? Thank you. Correct. All righty. Do you all have everyone you all needed? By the way, I don't think I had an answer before we were interrupted. Sorry, Paul. Uh, I believe we do. Prosecution. Yes, uh, all of our witnesses. Hey, I don't really agree with Officer your opening Gong statement. And Archer are present. I'm going to change Again, it. Dr. No, no, that first you line. Just give an opening? Yeah, yeah, yeah let, me, let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. Okay, yeah. I'm going to handle the closing. You just okay. do the opening. That's I was going to say on that opening. It's still unfortunate. I don't like the fact that they have been summoned and uh, no response. That is, uh, it would say no bueno, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and get this started then. <clears throat> A jingle Dan, you want to go ahead and swear people in after I get oh, this done? Oh, Jingle Dan, rest in peace, oh, poor guy. Oh, oh. Good. Dingle Dan, w which one? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Dingle, your honor, Dan your yeah, excellencies. All right. Let's go ahead and call this court hey, into session. Put it session. back, put it back. I'm going to say that at the end, actually. Put it back. Let me go ahead and read this real quick. Put it back. It's done. All righty. He's bringing it back up. All righty. Statement of claim on January 6th, 2023. Officers Flop Dugong and Kid Archer responded to reports of shots fired in Joshua Road. Officer Dugong arrived first and found the defendant wounded to ensure his safety. Officer Dugong performed a gunshot residue test on the defendant, which returned positive. Having reason to believe the defendant was armed, Dugong performed a frisk on the defendant and failed to firearm. Officer Dugong then performed a partial search of the defendant to retrieve the firearm, at which point Dugong found a police-issued firearm on the defendant's person. We are here today on behalf of Mr. Murphy Brown with the charges and the defendant accused of one time criminal possession of a government-issued firearm. Mr. Braun, I ask you at this point, how do you plead to that charge? Not guilty, Your Honor. All right, let the court record show that Mr. Braun has pleaded not guilty to the charge of criminal possession of government issued firearm. All right, Mr. Dingle, I'm going to go ahead and swear people in for me. All right. Hey guys, it's to go and it's me, Judge the Honorable the Excellent Dingle Fan. And do you guys swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the damn truth? So help you, uh, the great late Judge Jingle Dan. Oh God, I do, Your Honor. Cool. I, I do. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Is that in everybody? Oh. All righty. I'll go ahead and ask you once again before you approach. Both sides prepared to give an opening statement. Uh, any further motions uh, that y'all would like to bring up? No, no, Your Honor. Yes, we are ready for opening statement. Uh, is that some no to your motions, yes? Correct. All righty. Prosecution. No, no, no. Just kidding. Not for Bailey. Not for Bailey. Proceed, Judge. Me, yeah. you, have uh, you, you have any other motions first off? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no Watch further motions to present. All righty. And do you have uh, your opening prepared? I do indeed. Prepare to proceed, Judge. All righty. Would you like to go ahead and start then? Good indeed. Before you do so, please go ahead and uh, if you could consume a, a pill for me. You might have to uh, possibly leave the room and come back here briefly. Uh, can you hear me all right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I think I hear Am I all right to proceed? 
Right, can you come over here so we can hear him? If I stand here, everyone hear me okay? You're good. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the facts. This all started on the 6th of January. The evidence will show how the defendant unlawfully possessed a government issue firearm. And it will further show how he did so knowingly and intentionally. And how he had no lawful cause to possess that firearm. Hold on one second. Rama, can you hear him? One second. Rama, can you hear him? Yeah, 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 I can hear him. Uh, then please return to your side. They let him yes, go sir. and continue. Yes, uh, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, Judge. Again, there's two things that I want you to keep in mind. Don't fuck up, as Oliver. We make our way throughout <laughs> the trial. You fucking suck, Oliver. First is <laughs> that there are going to be some unanswered questions. And just because there are unanswered you questions suck, Oliver! does not mean we have not met our burden in this matter. <laughs> because we're working with a limited pool of evidence. I need there Katie, yo. witnesses to the, the, to the event, and the witnesses that were present was solely the defendant. And as the evidence will show, the defendant had no memory of the event. And the memories that he did, does have were faulty and uncredible. There's also a lack of physical evidence. Officers conducted a thorough search of the scene and unfortunately did not find any physical evidence. So again, we're working with limited evidence. And because of that, there will be some unanswered questions. Uh, to give an example, we know and the evidence will show oh God. that nice. preceding Sorry. the event in question, Sorry, he became intoxicated. He went from a court case to a party where he did a lot of drinking and eventually he ended up on the scene. Now, we can't say for certain how he got there. Did he walk there? Did he bike? Did he get it? Truth, we don't know for certain. Based on the evidence that we have. But our burden is not to prove and answer every conceivable question that could be asked. We simply have to provide evidence showing the defendant's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. And that is what we're proving today. Second point that I want to make quite clear is that a reasonable doubt actually is. See, a reasonable doubt is not the wild speculatory theories that you might hear at trial today, but it is a, a doubt in the defendant's guilt that is based on the evidence. So, as we make our way through trial, if you hear the defendant Raising all these different theories as to what could have happened. I'd like it to ask. Yo, he's you tanking this though. Is this theory based on the evidence? Dude, did you guys not hear my hair dryer? Find again as we make our way. Do you hear the hair dryer, Murphy? The is, no. Yeah. The theories that they are going to present are not backed up by the evidence, and therefore those theories are not a reasonable doubt in the defendant's view. So again, Your Honor. The facts are pretty clear. Simple case. <laughs> Yo, he, but he's like keeping up with it. I'm not gonna lie. He's not breaking. Off, I, I thought he was gonna fuck up his thing. Not met our burden. Fuck up his speech and, and shit. And what a reasonable doubt <laughs> actually is. <laughs> that it is a doubt based on the evidence provided at trial. And if there's not evidence to back up a theory that's presented by the defense, then it's not a reasonable doubt. And I'm confident based on the evidence that you're going to see numerous times so he knows exactly what the point is. That we will have met our burden and you will convict the defendant in this matter. Thank you. Can we, um, can we, can we object that on his opening as for calling for legal conclusions? Your Honor, if I may? Yes, technically. Yes, is there something else you'd like to add? Um, Make a, may I make a complaint about somebody? Yes. Uh, Rami keeps moving uh -oh. around a lot. It's distracting me. Do you have something against this individual? You've asked oh, for him. Hey. He's on my dick. He's on my dick, respectfully, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. He be on my dick. My attorney has freedom of movement. He be on my dick. He be on my dick. He be on my dick. It seems like he's not taking it seriously, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Rami, could you go ahead and grab a seat for me? Uh, Sir, I I'm actually giving an opening statement. You mind if I... Stand up and you know walk the courtroom. It helps persuade the uh, the jury, the the judges, and the people in the box. Uh, as long as they are so done. Hold on. Are you all done over there? 
<laughs> Dick Ryder. Do you have anything else to add there? Nope, all set. Yeah. Thank you, Judge. Okay. I think we do that. All right. Ooh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Rami, your acts of aggression are unwarranted at this point. Sorry, go sorry, ahead. Your Honor. Let's get your ass up here and do your thing. That is not what the state should be doing. Ladies and gentlemen of the courts, my client is not guilty. Justice was not served in this courtroom when a bench trial took place before with similar facts. I hope justice is done this time. This is a very linear case, okay? To establish that my client here criminally possessed a, uh, a government-issued firearm, there are two very legal, concrete concepts that need to be taken place. One is constructive possession. Now, people are going to ask, well, what is constructive possession, right? Let me answer that for you guys, okay? To prove construction possession, <laughs> to prove constructive possession, sorry, the prosecution needs to establish two elements, okay? Knowledge of my client knowing that the item was in his presence and the ability to maintain control over that item. Now, if you can't prove one or the other or both, then my client needs to be acquitted of these charges and get back to serving the community as a judge next is the legal concept of mens rea in latin it means guilty mind okay this requires not just intentionally committing an act as many people intentionally commit acts every day now the thing is you have intentionality versus an accident or a slip of the tug Tung or falling downstairs are different things. Men's rhea is not mere intent, though it is often simplified as such by the simpleton minds of fools. It is the intention or knowledge of wrongdoing that the act is wrong that constitutes part of a crime, as opposed to the action or conduct of the accused. One would, in simpler terms, say a guilty act. In order to criminally possess a firearm, you need to do something criminal, right? Now, these elements are not meant this entire judicial system would be a farcical excuse for a kangaroo court to convict my client. That is all, Your Honor. Well, son, that's why we're Siobhan, here, what the right? fuck was that there opening statement? Good job. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, really good. Good job. Court I like that. Good job, Rob. Egregious accusation. Yeah, good job, Rob. Just going to put it out there. I hope to God that that is not how you think that we operate. I don't do it that way. Yes, Your Honor. Of right. course. Um, yes, Your Honor. Not at all, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. You have known me way too long to know that I don't fuck around in the courthouse. Oh, of course, Your place. Honor. Of course. Thank you. I, I have another client that has dealt with the same thing, Your Honor, and was found guilty. Oh. Wait, okay, no, I didn't say that. Never mind. Just forget it. Will you? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh. Let's, keep going. <laughs> let's just strike that moment. Your Honor, Your Honor, defense moves the motion to strike. Counselor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Honor, yeah, yeah. Uh, the last you know, sentence. Facts not in evidence. Facts not in evidence. This is no, no, no. We don't need that in the record. Okay. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, no. Th thank you, thank you. I, I, okay. I need it's all good. It's all good. Well. I'm gonna cook. We're we're. Do you see this team right here? This is like OJ Simpson's lawyer team oh, right here. What are you making tonight, man? <laughs> oh, you're not helping right now, Rami. I'm just gonna let you know that. Guys, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get found Simpson. guilty. Don't worry, guys. But we got. Oh, that's good. Alrighty. So he is guilty. Yeah, we're, we're gonna cook this up. We're good job, Rami. Good job. I got you, Murph. I got you. Determined at this point. Not jump to any conclusions. Of course, Your Honor. That is what I'm asking the court to do. The quote has been placed in the record. Well, I thank you. Prosecution. Yes, Realize Your Honor. Again, calling your first witnesses. I certainly would. The people call Officer Dugong to the stand. Officer Flop Dugong, could you go ahead and approach and uh, dingle fan? Yes, man. It's sure that they have been sworn in for me, would you? Hey, man, have you been sworn in? Uh, yes, Mr. M Mr. Dingle, I, uh, I have. He's been sworn in, Your Honor. Very lovely. Perfect. Go ahead, take a seat there. 
Yeah, yeah I'd love to. This chair is heavy as shit. I need to shut the fuck up. Juan, are you gossip girl? No, I'm but not. I proceed, Judge. But I've sent a lot of tips in. Gossip oh, girl okay. On top of I, uh, no, if I she was gossip girl, there'd be a lot more shit TV about me. Cool, I'm gossip girl. Please pay me. Your Honor, Here, it, go ahead. What oh, thanks. what you say? Uh, I was just uh, making sure it was alright if I proceed with questioning. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Well, first off, conference. if you could just record record, just state yeah, your name for, for me. For, for information leading to the identity of uh, my name, Your Honor? Yes. Great. Oh, certainly. Yeah, Oliver I'm Hall. Alright, right thank you, Mr. Hall. Go ahead. Thank you very much. How you doing today, Officer Gong? It's an early morning. Have my, my coffee, but overall pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Where are you currently employed at? Uh, the LSPD, the Los Santos Police Department. Hold on, one sec. Robin, can, 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 can Robin yeah. sit down, please? He's doing the Here. same show as last time. Yeah, I'm just standing yeah, in the yeah, corner. What's wrong with he Sammy has over here? Syndrome, I don't understand. He needs to stand. It's a medical condition. I'm literally just hanging out here. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Robin, just, just go ahead and take a seat. Some, some not your okay. turn there. Not your monkeys. Not your uh, Sounds turn. Good. Go Sounds ahead. Sounds good. Ah, please take a seat. one of the old Yes, he is one of the olds. He's on the list. Yeah, good. All right. We'll go with that. Ah, would, you, would you like me ahead. to uh, re-answer my question, Your Honor? Yes. I, I believe the question was where I was employed. Uh, it's the Los Santos Police Department. All right. Thank you, Officer Guy. You know, were you working on the 6th of January, 2024? <laughs> Indeed I was, Oliver. All right. Now, in the early hours of that day, did you respond to any, any 911 calls? I'm sorry. Could you re-ask the question? In the early hours, approximately uh, 12 of 20 in the morning, did you respond to any Wait, oh my God, calls? I got to do it against the witnesses. Uh, I did respond to a call up on just south of Sandy Shores. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the road. I, I do apologize. That's certainly. All right. Listen, if I could, I'd like you to take a look at the People's A. Give me just a second to pull that up. Once you have that up, I'd like you to look at the attached evidence. It's going to be uh, the first one labeled as the dispatch calls. Ah, uh, yes, I do have that up. All right, and are you familiar with what that depicts? Ah, uh, yes. Would you like you me to... Oh, sorry, go ahead. How are you familiar with that image? Sure. So... Uh, we initially started to respond to, uh, reported gunshots off of Joshua Road. Uh, due to the fact that we were coming from the city and making our way up north, uh, it took us a couple there. minutes to make our response. I'd probably say roughly a minute to two minutes from the time we left the city limits to Los Santos Freeway. In that time, uh, we received a call of a deadly weapon as well as uh, a, a vehicle fleeing. And about, I'm going to say about 15, 20 seconds before arriving on scene, uh, we received a call for a 1047, uh, which is also known as an injured person. And what did you see once you got on the scene? I'm sorry, uh, Oliver, you, you might have to clear your throat. Could you re-ask your question? Certainly. I see you once you arrived on the scene. Hey, one more time. Uh... He's asking what you saw when you arrived on the scene. When I arrived on the scene, uh, I saw one injured party uh, who was on the ground, who appeared incapacitated. Uh, I did do a quick check to see if anyone was around. Uh, I didn't see anything, and I immediately tended to wounds on the injured. And uh, did you, you or any other officers secure the scene? Uh, I had did an initial secure. Uh, the other officer who was with me uh, did clear the area to ensure safety of the scene. Did we end That's up doing right. a psychiatric check on Murphy? It would have no, it's just the, the, the medical secure. report in yeah, there. Yeah, it's just the medical is... report in there. There's no psychiatric check. Uh, we should have did that because then we're going to be like, well, did he uh, seem like he was waiting, gonna shoot himself? Uh, you know what I mean? Based on the uh, I don't ask that. I don't think that's going to matter. I'm going to tell you why you, we don't ask that. Because that's a deportation. On the injured party. What? Who, I can't clarify. Uh, deportation. Self-harm is a deportation. It is a gunshot residue okay, test. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Uh, just I'm so crazy about that question. 
Oh, certainly. What does but, a gunshot uh, Rami, if residue we end up test to appeal this, indicate? I have been uh, seeing uh, Tanner since the shooting. Like of, every uh, week, okay, uh, powder uh, on an individual's hands. So whether or not they shot a firearm, is that fair? You could say that, yeah. And so you perform the the test. What happened then? Uh, at that point, the test came back positive. From there, I performed a frisk of the individual where I did feel a bulge. Uh, feeling that bulge, I did check for only that bulge in which I found a PD-issued block. Identify the individual that you tested? Uh, yes. When I arrived on scene, I was able to see that it was a one Judge Murphy Braun. Let's see. And if I could, again, I'd like you to look at the people's A. If you could, again, at the bottom of that report, look at the attached exhibits and look at the one marked as four, the, the GSR test. Okay. All right. And do you recognize that piece of evidence? Uh, I do. I was the one that conducted the GSR test. A GSR test, positive GSR test of the defendant. Objection asked and answered. Did you let him finish the question there? I'm sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble actually. I, I, I thought I did, so, uh, In my well, case, he, he was done the with the question off. and we object uh, on us. Your Honor, he... Uh, one more time, what was the question? I the understand. Question. Just, I need just one person talking. You guys can't go too yeah, aggro when you guys are talking to the judge. Yeah. whether Shall or not the uh, GSR test, if it was the GSR test of the defendant. All righty. The objection was there was asked and answered, yes? Correct. Yes, Your Honor. It, well, you asked what was the GSR test, and then you asked the firearm. You didn't say that you just identified and conducted the GSR test on that individual. There wasn't an individual. It's just the extension of it. Yes, it's asking the answer, but frankly, you already have it there. Would you like to confirm it? Sure. I don't, I'll don't. allow the question. It's no big deal. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. Now, what happened after you conducted the search, Mr. Gallo? Uh, are, are, are you referring to right after we grabbed the firearm? We documented it on his person. I had grabbed the firearm and I had placed Murphy Brown in cuffs. At about the same time I placed him in cuffs, EMS were unseen to treat. If I can, I want to back up a bit. Did you find anything else through the course of that search? Um... No, nothing that was uh, very pressing at that time. Okay. And if I can, describe the firearm that you found in this person. Sure. Uh, it was a PD issued firearm. I believe it was a Glock 19. Uh, as far as I'm aware, and as far as I believe most people are aware, uh, those are only issued to sworn police officers within the Los Santos Police Department. Certainly. And at the time of incident, were you aware of the defendant's occupation? Yes, I was. Do you work for the Los Angeles Police Department? Uh, no, he does not. And at the time of incident, did the defendant have yeah, a, uh, a weapons license? Sign your paperwork, to your though, don't I? Uh, I don't believe he did, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, for the record, I, I honestly do not recall in full. Was there any lawful cause for the defendant to possess that firearm? Uh, objection calls for legal conclusion. No. Go? Hey, this is your chance to go ahead and uh, rebut that, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear any objection, Your Honor. There was an objection saying that calls for legal con uh, conclusion. There. He instructed the witness to answer instead of responding yeah, to the objection. Yeah, of course, Your Honor. I'm not asking Cheek the witness to fucker. come to a legal conclusion. I'm asking him to come to a conclusion based on his experience as an officer. If there was any reason that the department would have issued the defendant that firearm or for him to have it. Your Honor, I also want to point out uh, Oliver is playing stupid here, respectfully. He told the... Sir, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Respectfully and stupid in the same sentence, I'm not respectful. <laughs> and it was back and forth already. If you had something else to add to that, you would have done so with uh, <laughs> them, you, Miss Sanders. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. When when she asked or objected. Of course. 
Uh, I don't need the color commentary of that, Rami. It's not going to fucking fly. Try that again next time. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Rami and I actually heard what you said there. Hey. Your Honor, is out of control. <laughs> Why you on my dick, Leo? Why you on my dick? He, he's Why you on my control dick? <laughs> yeah, Oliver is out of control. He's instructing yeah. the system. Oh, there's there's an objection. Respectfully, we would, hey, have, hey, we would hey, ask hey, that you hey, be the hey, one. Hey, hey, hey. Order. First off, Mr. Slacks, that is inappropriate for you to suggest. This is my courtroom. Not yours. Yeah, that, that's all I was gonna say. My, my apologies. You Dick Ryder! Oh, Dick Ryder! <laughs> Your jurisdiction is outside of here. Do not come in here suggesting what I do and do not do. Frankly. We're very sorry, Your Honor. That that is is yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. My apologies. I let my emotions get the best of me. Oh. Your Honor, you can we have a motion to somewhere. remove him from the courtroom? He's been disrespectful no. from the start to the court. To the court. I'll remove both of you in a minute. Shut the hell up. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Yes, yes sir. All right. For the objection, I'm going to go ahead and overrule the objection. Uh, go ahead and continue asking the question. Thank you, Honor. Thank you, Judge. Do you need me to repeat that out to the gal? Please do, just for the call record. Is there any reason for the defendant to have that firearm on his person? Speculative. No. Should I object that or not? There was not. Hey, uh, uh, real, real, no, real, just real quick. It doesn't hurt us. Real quick. Um, I can be Clarify. like. Can you did read you me out the, uh, the penal code for a criminal session for a government issue uh, firearm? Do a brief and then I could be like, can you, can you read me the definition of a uh, peace officer? No physical uh, right? And a peace say, officer is a civil officer appointed to preserve law and order. Now, wouldn't a judge what about witnesses? be a civil officer appointed to preserve law and order? Uh, no witnesses I would agree with you. On the time uh, I would say, would you agree that blah, blah, blah? Because you're allowed to lead and cross, and so... Yep, so just oh, us. Would you agree that would you agree that a peace officer is a civil officer appointed to preserve law and order, correct? Um, and then I would ask, would you believe a judge is an officer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Uh, the initial shots fired. Unfortunately, as we did arrive on scene, like I stated before, uh, there, there, there were no witnesses for us to discuss and speak with uh, at the actual scene on Joshua. I want to clarify. Did anyone follow up with a 911 call reporting that leaving scene? I can't state for other officers. Wait, I'm sorry, objection, Your Honor, leading? In what way is that leading? Go ahead. Uh, he's given the answer on the question. Um... He asked, did anyone follow up with a 911 call afterwards? What do you say, isn't it? That is not you... in regards to Mr. Flop going ahead and calling his own 911 in. That's a very open question where anybody possibly can and is open to interpretation afterwards. God, I can't Thank wait to you, kill him. I, I can't hope this judge fucking dies, sure. honestly. Um, <laughs> don't worry, he's on the mid soul my, my job on that scene, I, I can't speak for other officers as to the extent of their investigation. Uh, I hope you I die, Leo. State that for me on scene, my goal was to ensure the safety of Murphy Braun until EMS were able to get on scene. By the time EMS had left the scene, uh, I had followed them. Uh, I did not want to leave Murphy Braun out of my sight. Uh, he was he was my my person to process at that point, so he was my responsibility. All right, and based on your investigation, what evidence the vehicle had actually been on the scene? What? Uh, technically, no. Uh, we didn't see the vehicle on scene. There's no way to prove that it was directly on scene. Interesting question. So you have a report. Of a robbery, right? I wish I could understand all of this. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Yeah, I can't understand. Let yes, me go ahead and repeat that. There was a 911 call reporting a robbery on the scene. Isn't yes. that right? Okay. It, 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 and, it, was, it was directly in the area, yes. The, yeah, that was a hell of a And was there any evidence that the robbery had taken place on that scene? Still no. Uh... Like stated before, there was no physical evidence to actually state otherwise. I don't think any of the objections here for any of these questions would matter anyway, because it's not like it's gaining any advantage for us. I agree. Just... I agree. There's no point in objecting right now. Conduct a further investigation so... as to what really only happened. To when they try to cross -examine Murphy. I'm gonna need you to ask it again, Oliver. I'm 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 sorry. Oliver, can you take a mumble pill or something? You, you, every time you open your mouth, it's been yeah, hard to understand yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I kind of need to understand what you're saying.
Yeah, you're, you're, you're so fucking dumb, Oliver. It's fucking like insane, honestly. If it does become an issue with the question, make sure that you all ask. Them you're so fucking stupid, Oliver. I swear to God. Yeah. So you really so are. Let them you fucking idiot. Them. Yes, sir. I hope you die, right. Oliver. Robin, Thank you, Your Honor. Oh. I can understand you from up here, you asshole. Stop. Go oh, ahead yeah. and yell it. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Can you hear better? No. <laughs> Not really. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> maybe. Just. But we'll. we'll, we'll We'll see what happens. We'll let this ball roll. Go, go for it. <laughs> see what happens. Okay. That's not great. Yeah, it's not helping. Well, once again, we can go ahead and clarify if it needs to come to it. We can do so in a manner that everyone comes to a conclusion. We all understand the question. All right. Uh, the, you're on a defense. Just, with what we have. Understood. Defense just asks that the witness take a couple extra seconds, not for objections, just so that we can take the time to ask if the question needs to be repeated. All righty. Thank you so That's much. That's entirely Your Honor. acceptable. Go ahead. All right, did you conduct a further investigation? Uh, do you mind if I clarify? Are you are you talking about after that scene? That's right. Uh, yes, there was an investigation after uh, in terms of questioning Mr. Braun. Uh, I cannot state, however, that I was present for the questioning after. Uh, I believe that would be uh, Officer Kit Archer who conducted questioning, uh, as well as followed up on a 911 call that uh, we were looking into. Hey, thank you so much, Officer DeGaulle. That's all the questions I have. All right. Anyone else from the prosecution side? Can't hear you. Speak up. No, I was I, I was letting him know if he can just write down the questions, I could ask him as well too. All righty. Is there anything else from your side for questioning? Really sucks, especially when you're like recovering from. Well, that's it for the direct. Thank you. All righty. Go back. Go ahead. The vamps. Go for. What's up, Rami? Mm. How you doing today, uh, flop? Doing doing great. You got wonderful hair. I I, I got to admit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You letting it grow out? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Flop, um, you were the first responder on scene, correct? I was the first on scene, yes. Can you describe to me your procedure on what you did on scene? Not thoroughly, sure. just, you know, quick bullet pointed. Uh, bullet pointed? Sure. So I arrived on scene, uh, like any other scene where I suspect a crime was committed, uh, especially this one where gunshots were reported. I did enter, exit my vehicle uh, with my firearm. I did a brief clearing of the scene and immediately ran over to tend to wounds to Mr. Braun. Uh, I had another officer help fully clear the scene while I tended to wounds. I then conducted a GSR test after EMS was called. Uh, once the GSR test came back positive, I frisked Mr. Braun. Once Mr. Braun was frisked and I felt the bulge, uh, I proceeded to check for the bulge in which the firearm was found. Mr. Brown was in place in cuffs about the same time EMS arrived on scene. Okay. Uh, you are you were you the arresting officer? Like you're the one who charged him and sent him to to jail, or or how? He was never sent to jail. Right. Okay. Uh, so what? He was taken to the cells and then let go. Correct? No. Well, I uh, yes and no. Uh, he he was incapacitated on scene. He was unresponsive uh, after EMS had taken him. Uh, and I, I asked for his condition. They they also claimed that they have had no answer. So he was brought directly to Crusade Medical where he was put into intensive care until he was uh, subsequently released once his health was back in uh, in good shape. Okay. Um, now, on the prosecution side, you were charging my client here with criminal possession of a government-issued firearm, correct? I believe that's the only charge, yes. Can you read to the courts the penal code for a government uh, criminal possession of a government issued firearm? Uh, Robbie, it is before we can take for this. Uh, if you don't mind, with your questioning, uh, don't ask. Hold on, make sure that I'm speaking up here with your with your questions. Um, make sure you're not asking the answer during your questions. All right, uh, your honor, is, your honor, it's not being objected. I, would uh, I understand. Judge, I would be here for four hours. No, so. I understand. I'm just giving a blanket statement here because some of them already could have been. I'm just letting you know. Just make sure to keep it open with it. All right. Of course, of course. Don't you are we allowed to lead on cross? Yes, we are. 
He wants, I just he's, wanted to establish he's everything. He's putting the words into I their mouths to let you I go understand. ahead. That's fine. I, I understand. Go ahead, Rami. Continue. Thank okay. You. Um... I mean, I don't think that's even you know, been asked in court, question. to be honest. The penal code for criminal possession of a government issued firearm? Flop, can you re read the penal code out for a criminal possession of a government issued firearm for the courts? Uh, sure thing. Your Honor, do I have permission to grab my MDT and uh, read it verbatim? Yeah, you have to go for it. No, you're way worse now. Criminal possession of a government issued firearm. It is illegal to possess a government owned or issued firearm without being a sworn duty uh, peace officer who is currently on duty or off duty. This includes firearms that law enforcement officers purchase for their sworn daily duties. Okay. Without being a duly sworn peace officer. Now, would you agree that a peace officer is a civil officer appointed to preserve law and order? Uh, I believe an officer is uh, put in duty to protect See, and serve. It's a yes or no question. Is, I, I said, is this... Go ahead. Scope. Rebuttal. Uh, it's within the penal code. You're asking his responsibilities as an officer. You're no, I also said going it, on the penal code to that. Which, which where are you going with this, uh, Rami? It's the the, uh, the 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 a peace officer is described in the penal code of the charge that my client is being charged with. So I'm at. Uh, Righty. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead, Rami. Go ahead and continue then. Okay. Yes or no question here, uh, Flop. Mm -hmm. Would you would you agree a civil officer or a peace officer? Is someone who's appointed to preserve law and order, correct? Sure, you could say that. Okay. Uh, that would mean a cop, right? Sure. Okay. Um, uh, a judge. You would agree a judge uh, preserves law and order, right? I wouldn't call him a peace officer. That's not what I asked you. I asked you, does a judge preserve law and order? Sure, Rami. A judge preserves law and order. Now, a judge takes a, a sworn, uh, t you know, they take a, a swear to the oath, right? Before they, uh, you know, when you go to the bar, you know, you got to swear that you're going to, you know, perform your duties to protect law and order to, this, to the people, correct? Can you ask your question again? Did you take a swearing to preserve law and order when you became an officer? Uh, objection, honor... But scope again, what does this have to do with anything we're talking about today? Your Honor, I'm just breaking down the definition of the charge that my client got charged with, or is being charged with. Yeah, Captain Slack said he's expanding upon the definition of a sworn peace officer, to which uh, Mr. Dugong gave a definition that is involved with the penal code, where that is a actual statement within the code. It is still within scope because he is referring back to that statement, and allowing the questions to expand based upon that. And I will allow that line of questioning to continue. Understood. All righty. You mind asking your uh Yeah, your sure. Question did you take an oath when you became a cop? Yes, we all did. And you took an oath to protect and serve, correct? Uh, I did. And you well, took an oath Honor, to... Again, objection. He's testifying for the witness saying, correct. Not allowing the Your Honor, I'm leading, which I'm allowing to lead on a cross. But why would you say correct after asking a question? I don't know. I, oh, sh I'm shut up. Go ahead, Your Honor. I'll let you take this one. <laughs> All right. Listen, let's uh, keep it. Yes. Don't put the correct out there if you could, just for yeah, own purpose. Yeah, sure. Babe. No worries. It's just a you know bad habit, Your it's, Honor. That's all. Uh, yes. I understand you want to get your, your Honor, point uh, across. Uh, apologies. Romy picked uh, that uh, uh, up from uh, Oliver. Uh, uh, I'm still speaking. All right. Mr. Rami. Yes. Just ask the question. Be sure. done. Your Honor, I'm, right. my apologies. I was just taken after the prosecution. Um, do you read me my last question? What, what, what I ask? It was, you're, you you're asking me? You no, no, I'm, I'm talking to the... the questions that you're asking. Mr. Kermy, go ahead if you have everything else written down. Yeah, oh, the most recent question. My thoughts have to oh, no, understand okay. both sides. 
Uh, the most recent question Rami asked was, uh, or, uh, did that oath require you uh, to swear to protect and serve? Okay. You mind answering that and, for me? Uh, well, he already answered. He said yes. Okay. And the question I asked after that, before Leo objected, would you know what that was or no? No, that was a question he interrupted. Like, he okay. interrupted oh, Flop's answer. Okay, uh, okay. Answer. And Flop already answered yes. Yeah, he interrupted Flop's answer, but okay. he said yes. Right. <clears throat> okay. Now, Flop. Hello. So you would agree that a judge, before swearing under oath and being uh, serving as one in the city, they take an oath to preserve law and order as well. Objection, Your Honor. Uh, speculation, he's not a judge. He's a cop. I don't think that's speculation. That's not speculatory, Your Honor, but... Opinion of a lay person? What the hell you, whatever you call it. Maybe you like some rebut there, Rami. Uh, yeah, I can talk to my team here and let, if they can allow me to rebut it. Wait, is there a rebuttal? Speculation or a lay person? Speculation. Uh, Your can we have a... Like? Can we have clarification uh, since the uh, Captain Slack stated two objections so we understand which objection we're rebutting here? Ladder, Once ladder, again, Ronner. just to repeat myself, objection of a lay person. Perfect. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Opinion of a lay person. We, well... Right, I'm hmm. Murphy, it's fine. You can... I'm, it's fine. Lay it's fine. Opinion. It's, it's fine, fine. We'll Your Honor. Murphy. No worries. It's fine. We'll ask Murphy. Yeah, we'll ask, no we'll ask Murphy who's a judge. He, he can, you can sustain it. Um, uh, All right. No, you can, but Question you withdrawal. Go okay. ahead. Continue. I'll withdraw. It'll be fine. Um, Strike that from the record there, Cameron. You guys have any other questions? No. Sebastian, you got anything? Honestly, I think it's pretty covered. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think we should stricken. ask him about a mask, right, what he was wrong. wearing. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Now, can you describe to me uh, what the defendant here was wearing on the, at the scene? Sure. Um, to the best of my recollection, I do know, I believe there's a piece of evidence showing it. Uh, it has not been referred to. Uh, would I have permission to find that piece of evidence? Your Honor. Uh, not, I, I can, sure, I, it's I, in the I, evidence I right now. It's uh, under IX or 9. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll go based uh, on, on, go my, on my recollection. Okay, okay. No, no, no. That Your works. Honor, you can refer to the, yeah, refer to the uh, article, uh, article 9. And then attached yeah, evidence. Over there. Sure. When I initially arrived on scene, the first thing I noticed was the uh, gray suit jacket with the gray pants. Hmm. Uh, and at the time of that photo, it was the same gray jacket, gray pants with the black undershirt. Okay. Uh, no hat. Okay. And was he wearing a mask? No. I was able to identify Murphy Brown on scene. Okay. I... So, did you have any inclination that he was, you know, outside doing crime in the city, given your experience as a peace officer? Just to clarify, are, are, are you asking me to assume that he, he was out doing other crime? Or are, are you talking about this, this, this scene that I responded to? That scene. Uh, based on the calls that we received... Uh, anyone that was back on the scene, uh, I, in good faith, followed the proper process that I would with anybody that I, I would find on any scene uh, relating to related calls. Did you take any ballistics on scene? Did you find any casings or anything? Like I stated uh, about three, four times now, uh, there was no physical evidence on scene. Wow. That is all. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, the, uh, sorry. Prosecution uh, Your Honor, I have one more question. Oh, sorry, the if you fame. don't mind. Hey, go ahead. What's your name? Uh, your my name is Sebastian Birch. All right. Damn. Hi, Sebastian. Full record. You... Go ahead and note that down for me there, Kermit. Sorry, no. Uh, one more time. It's Sebastian Birch. Okay. Go oh, ahead. Sebastian got who dissed. Yeah, he did. Please. Uh, you know who I did? Who Flop, didn't? did you find me. a cell phone on uh, That's Judge right. Brown? I would have to go back to refer evidence. I don't believe I did now. Okay. And do you know how long he was incapacitated before you came on scene? The call that we received of an injured party 
was called in when I was right around the corner. I was at the end of Route 68 where it meets with Joshua. I would probably estimate um, that call came in about 15 seconds of the injured Sometimes party. Sometimes they are able uh, to. Before I, I actually arrived on scene. Right, did you see him get incapacitated or shot? Did you see him get shot? No, I, I was, I was injured in person the process call, of yeah. responding to gunshots, which came in about a minute before. Oh, dispatch calls. I was probably about still on the highway. Uh, actually, no. That was the initial call. I was probably still in the city when the gunshot was called in. Okay, uh, so it's safe to assume that he was shot a few minutes before you showed up, at least, right? Nice try. What? Objection, not responsive. Did you just say nice try? <laughs> uh, I, I did, Can yeah. Can you go ahead and ask, ask well, a question one more time? Mouth you witnessed. Uh, I... I... I believe I said uh, if it was safe to assume that he was shot a few minutes before Flop left the city. Objection? Question mark? Hey, Your Honor, can I, I can I rephrase the question mark? I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase. I'll rephrase the question, Your Honor, if you don't uh, mind. I'm striking that question. Go ahead if you'd like to re-ask the question. Uh, I, I know what you're doing. Uh, Flop, how long did it take you to arrive on scene? I believe I answered that already. Uh, it has indeed been asked and answered. Uh, objection. I should okay, answer. well, can you restate it for the courts, Your Honor? It's like, hey, one second. I can do that. <clears throat> Go ahead, Kermy. Do, your, do your thing after this. I know, I know that's the answer you were trying to get, right? Yeah, that's really the last question. Yeah. Uh, you said, how long did it take him to get on scene? Yeah. He said, it took him... Uh, our, we initially started to respond to reports of shots fired. Blah, blah, blah. It took a couple of minutes, roughly one to two minutes. In that time, they received other calls. About 15 to 20 seconds before arriving on scene, received a call for a 47. It took them roughly... One to two minutes. Took you two minutes to get from the city to the client to, to my uh to my client's uh location, correct? Roughly, yes. Okay. Now good question. Okay. No, that is all, Your Honor. Right, Sebastian? Yeah, yeah, we're good. good. Yeah, because the dispatch calls are very clear. It's gunshots, right. robbery, yeah. robbery, you, injured you, person. Your Honor, I lost my prosecution, so we rest. Oh, uh, uh, Your Honor, defense objects to that. Can we actually take a five, ten minute recess? No, to no, 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 fuck off. No, and why would you object to that? No. Hell no. Because they're for Samantha. fair. Samantha. For fairness? No, uh, no, because of fuck. No, no, we're not objecting. No, we're not objecting, Your Honor. We're we withdraw that. We withdraw our objection. What the fuck? Why would you know why? Because I hate Oliver Hall and he fucked with me too many times. What is she doing? I think it's I think it's Sam. Okay. I mean, I you understand where I'm going. You know, understand where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you guys want to do that. I want a mistrial. I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want a mistrial because of certain behavior. But no, prosecution, they won't. Prosecution they won't. said they arrested okay. me, so yeah, we're not going to. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, she arrested me. You understand what I'm coming from? You literally almost just fucked your entire case. Your Honor, he arrested it. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to just say, I'm going to think for a minute. Why did she say something? No, man. Good job, guys. Good job. Fuck. I don't want anyone to ever accuse you ever again. No, no, you're good. I, I, get it. I get that shit constantly. That's the problem. Is like I... People accuse her of being sweaty and not having good courtmanship all the time. And look at that. Oh, no, no, she has more courtmanship than either of us. Hell no. We're going cutthroat here. Fuck that. Okay. Cool. All right. Sweaty. Claws out. Gloves off. Okay. Well, I sleep on the desk grade right here. It's honestly not too oh bad. Oh my god. Fuck me. Bro, we could have got what we wanted, man. We could have questioned him the entire time without fucking yeah, Oliver. Cool. I get my own, like, private what do you mean? Chamber, man. <laughs> man, we can still call him. That's a, that's a thing, right? No. no. Okay, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll link up later then. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, first did, off, did his head pop or did he uh, uh did he just leave? On, please. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Helmets, masks, everything. No masks. But, I mean, if we had more questions for him, we could have just asked him. That. Uh, no, 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 no. no, no. There's really a little bit. Listen, of, listen yeah. Sebastian, in line seven in your notes, all you got to do is just, we, we just got to include that in the closing. That's it. Oh, oh, I'll grab it. What is it no line seven? You just said your yeah. mouth moved yeah. about a million miles a minute. I want to know that the flop said his mustache is fake. Situation of what happened. It's not I'm, true. Is, is that true? Sam get shot? No. You're on. You're in both. We're in recess. Wait, like honestly, so all num num numbers six and seven. Yeah, if fine. you include that in your yeah, closing. Bob, tell the truth. Siobhan, peace I'm throwing it in there right now. I'm doing it, right Rami. Good, 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 good. What the hell is wrong oh with you? Oh my so god. god! Oh my god! Okay, the good man. Oh my god! We're in recess, dummy.
Under oath don't count in recess. Oh my god. I was gonna what I was gonna ask him the reason why I stumbled on that last question in my questioning, I was gonna ask him what he if he had any other criminal possessions on him and then I, I didn't see but he had he had fucking rolls of oh on him. yeah that so i didn't i didn't well, i didn't see he had there rolls were, there was evidence of a robbery and, essentially and, 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 on oliver him asked him that. oliver asked him that and his yeah. answer was uh no i didn't see I anything else that was suspicious suspicious okay so Did siobhan I, include yeah, that in his name like he had rolls on him so why in in dude in according to uh flop's testimony he said that there was no rob there's no uh, other crime that was taken on scene other than a shooting there was no other crime i don't i don't think we corner. want to point it out i Maybe. think we want right. bailey to overlook I'm, it I'm, I'm oh gosh uh unless unless well and you may have to step out of the, the courtroom come back in i apologize we're, we're not recess, right? there's no, apparently nobody doing anything oh, oh, also, no. i can hear you, you. Did nothing wrong i just you're perfect no, mom said no yeah okay I, I have to listen to him. He's technically my boss. I would like to do a little dance while we wait. What's our recess? You know, is it all right if we do a little dance while we wait? You want to do a dance? Just want to do a bit of an Irish jig. Oh, I'm, I'm, my legs are falling asleep standing here with my knees locked. Hey, sure, go for it. This better be good, Siobhan. You called it. Okay, we got it. We got our prosecutor back. It's just one of us to do a little dance. Like Jesus, Sebastian, do a little dance for us. He's back, Your Honor. Yes, yeah, Sebastian. All right. There you go. We solved it. He sounds much you, better uh, as well. Perfect. Do you have a mace that you can go ahead and uh, put on, take off for me? Who are, who are the other witnesses? Just uh, other than Murphy? Slacks. Mur well, Murphy yeah, so for well. us. And then we we're going to call kid? character witnesses oh. for... Well, for us, it's... um, it's Angel, Adams, Adams, Angel, Adams, Murphy. Adams and Murphy. I thought Dab is going to give a character witness as a mayor. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, when was this? What are Angel's... Uh, what are, what's Angel? Runner, if I have permission they to approach, saw Murphy I have one that for the, day, uh, for the And they can give to uh, where he was, like, he'd been at City Hall, what his plans were. Okay, okay, okay. About, and, and speak about I, his I demeanor that day. I don't think you can hear You know, what his plans us, were. Uh, was kidnapping on the agenda, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to, like, have, like, 20 fucking people go. And then what are they? They're doing Kit and Leo? They rested. I don't think they're going to call Oh, they technically they rested. They removed slacks. And what about why is Kit there? Oh. They're gonna call Kit. Gonna Kit call did Kit. the all the interrogations. Kit did and they the stopped Devereaux as well, right? They just need the report, right? Honestly, yeah, I, it's just, it's just the medical report. report. I, I honestly, I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna talk about the medical report. You just bring that up in their closing if you want to, even the medical report. Show that like he was set up. You know what I mean? Well, we have we have Flop confirming that he was injured, that he took he was taken care of, and that Ava. We have the medical report from Ava following after being taken care of. The line Sorry is pretty that, clear. It just needs to be uh, touched on. So. I think Proceed. we want to show that he was shot. Alrighty. Like, he's the one sick. He's just one sick. You're going to say he was intentionally shot in the head, right? That this was he's not looking a, for a photo a opportunity. Somebody get a photo quick. This is all part of the setup. You good, Oliver? I got you. Apologies, I thought we would have been an extra minute. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I got uh -huh. you. I got Go you for your photo op. Now. Thank you, Siobhan. I'll do what I can. Do you have Lop's email? Can you send that to him? I don't want to find it. I sent it to you, Sam. Yes, I got it. Sweet, thanks. All right. Sammy will send it to you. Sorry. Go ahead. His call is back into session. I do believe at this time we are waiting on Mr. Hall for redirect. Thank you, Judge. Happy to proceed. Right, Gung, I, I just wanted to ask you, um, do you have to be a cop to possess a government-issued firearm? Yes. All right. And does being a judge allow you to possess a government-issued firearm? No.
And I also wanted to clarify, and I know this is going to sound a bit of a silly question, um, but do you have to be conscious to fire a gun? I actually helped us. Uh, <laughs> define define conscious. I would but... say we are going to be home with the answer. conscious enough to pull the trigger. Awake and alert. You could wrap your hand around someone else. That's a better way to put it, yeah. To pull the trigger, right? All right, thank you so much. No further questions. We would like to mark hey, the witness that, recall, Oliver. Thank Your Honor. All righty. Mr. Dugong, you want to go ahead and step down? You have been marked for recall. Do not go anywhere. Sure thing. Hey, good shit, Oliver. Thanks, man. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Prosecution. Next witness. Certainly, Judge. Uh, the people call Officer Archer to the stand. Officer Archer. Go ahead and approach, please. Pretty much. Yes, man. I don't think she needs to be. You have to, you have to do your thing, there, Dingo. Oh, hey, hey, do you? Hi. You, you've been sworn in, right, man? Yeah, I have. All right, cool. Take a seat. Oh, he's a, he's a judge. Hi. Is it okay if I oh, just oh, stand? Sorry, lady, what? Am I in the ways of you? Yeah, Dingle family judge. Uh, I don't know. Is it okay? One day we'll teach you how to sit down. That's fine. That's fine. You gotta bend your legs <laughs> yes. a little bit. Yes, you may go ahead and stand up. That's fine. Give me a. Are we today, Officer Archer? Oh, My daughter's I'm, babysitter is okay. texting me. Give me a you? second. I'm gonna text her back I'm really quick. All right. Thank you for asking. I wanted to ask you a couple questions. First off, where are you employed at? Uh, I'm employed with the Los Santos Police Department. All right. And were you working on the day of January 5th leading into the 6th? I was. And did you respond to any 911 calls at the courthouse? Uh, I did. I responded to a call for a kidnapping at the courthouse. So what happened? Uh, Luis Fernandez called in that there was a kidnapping taking place at the courthouse. I was riding with Captain Slacks at the time uh, on the way to the courthouse. Uh, we actually ran into uh, Mr. Fernandez, who was driving away. Uh, I, we quickly asked him what had happened. He said that two people were kidnapped. Uh, we drove there. We didn't see anything. Uh, he also, we asked him for a description of the suspects. Uh, they said it was a, I believe, a black and color truck, uh, like a pickup truck, and there were two to three of them. Uh, when we got there, we what was the car that drove away anything. from the scene? We code six for a while, looking for the truck. We're unable to locate it, and um, uh, later I followed up with Mr. Fernandez just to ask him more Last questions. Stop right there, just for the call record, if you have a code or anything that's a table, whatever, just make sure you explain that. To the an SUV? Right. Oh, did, did I? Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, rental. Okay. Oh, uh, we, uh, we, uh, SUV uh, rental, the big SUV. Yeah. Looked around the area. All right, did you find anything? No. Well, what did you do after that? So the problem was the plate was not uh, ran? After that, I... Uh, I called on that uh, Seminole, Mr. Fernandez to follow which helps up us. with more questions regarding Because I got a cop to run the plate, and it uh, didn't give back the name. He said that he... I got a cop to run the plate, like, last week. I, I tricked him into running it, and it, and, and it, came, it didn't come back uh, to anybody. To it came back to, like, some random stuff. locals. So it was a stolen car. And uh, so when stolen he got bag. there, yeah. Mr. Braun was not there. And Murphy didn't rent any cars that day, right? Murphy? In the description of the, the kidnapped individual, what description... Assuming he was probably driving a truck... Murphy. That I helped he pay for it. Yeah. It was a Did you clown rent a car that day or no? And uh, one other person. Um, uh, I probably, sure yeah. He said it, if it was a man or not, but I believe he did. He said it was a man and a clown. I'm going to say yes, definitely. Did he give any description similar to that? Of the I have an idea on how I want to do this. No. But it's all in regards to Murphy's did question. Did you investigate this further? I did. Uh, I brought Luis in for further questioning at uh, Mission Row. Uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, we- You lads got this, I have to be in my head for one second. Uh, we investigated the clown that was potentially kidnapped. Um, we thought we might've found a lead with uh, Delver Lee. Uh, however, 
he uh, he was unable to corroborate. He said that he hadn't been kidnapped. All right. Although he did he did say that he had witnessed a kidnapping at the courthouse at one point. Were you able to get Mr. So sorry, were you able to get Mr. Fernandez to identify the individual uh, he saw being uh, kidnapped? I'm gonna object, Your Honor, to leading. I don't even um, understand the question. Hold on one sec. What was the question again? Did you get Mr. Fernandez to identify the individuals being kidnapped? Go ahead and rephrase I mean, that for me, Mr. Hall. Certainly. I'm going I'll to I'll sustain the objection. Go ahead. I'll backtrack a little bit. Did you ever conduct a lineup? I did. I did. Um, so part of the investigation with Luis Fernandez is, in addition to the questioning, um, I had... Uh, Mr. Braun uh, come into MRPD in the clothes that he was wearing um, the night of the incident, that gray, or excuse me, yeah, that gray suit. Uh, we had three other officers dress up like Mr. Braun, and then we did a lineup uh, to see if, you know, Luis could identify <laughs> anyone okay. related to the kidnapping. Uh, he good. said that he was unable to, that nothing looked familiar. However, he did uh, he did identify Suarez as the hot dog guy. I see. And let's backtrack back to the scene of this incident. Did you investigate that scene? Uh, I was not on scene for that. Understood. Um, but to your, the best of your knowledge, was any evidence found on the scene that the defendant had been present at the courthouse? What's the objection here? I forget what that objection is. Though. Um, it's speculation. I'm not quite sure right. I understand your question. Oh, certainly. Uh, we'll move on oh, to that case. Yeah, he, he knew. Um, it's did personal you find personal any evidence based the on your investigation that led you to conclude that the defendant had been kidnapped? Should I do it? Should I do no, it? No, I did not. That was a leading. No, I'm just, it's fine. All right, thank you. No further qu Actually, I do have a couple more questions. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you conducted, uh, well, actually, you later got involved in the investigation of the defendant. Objection leading. I'll rephrase. Were you involved in the investigation of the defendant? Uh, I did uh, interrogate Mr. Braun twice at MRPD. I see. To question him. Well, let's talk about that first incident. On what date did that occur? Um, the first one occurred on, I believe it was January 6th. All right. Um, and if I can, what happened during that interrogation? I, we just asked him if he could recall the events of the previous night. Um, in that, that morning, uh, we received a call that Murphy Braun was out of ICU. Uh, so myself, as well as Captain Turner, went there. Uh, there might have been other cops there. I, I can't recall. Um, but we, we spoke to him briefly uh, at the hospital and then uh, gave him some time because, you know, he had just uh, woken up and uh, gave him some time to recover. And when he was ready, um, he came to MRPD for questioning. All right. And did you gain any valuable information from that interrogation? Uh, the only thing that I can recall is uh, that he could not recall the events of the previous night. He had no knowledge of it. Right. Did the defendant explain that he had been kidnapped? No. Did the defendant explain that why exactly he had a government issued firearm on his person? Uh, objection, Your Honor. Leading. I'm asking, did the defendant explain, Judge? I'm not giving any sort of answer in the... the the, the question that the way it's phrased uh we didn't question hold him on, hold on hold on there's still an objection on there i'm sorry i'm sorry no, no worries just oh. give me a second <laughs> i'm going ahead and uh you know overrule that objection he's not asking for the direct answer with it in terms of it he's not giving the answer with it he's still asking her to expand upon the question so i will allow that question to stand if you go ahead and re-ask it for the court please certainly did the defendant explain why he had a government-issued firearm on his person? 
And no, we didn't question him about the weapon during the first interrogation. That's why the question was leading. Uh, and what about the second interrogation? When did that take place? I, ooh, I can't remember the exact date. Uh, can I reference from evidence? A, um, standpoint of leading. Can, no, certainly. I, please do. Like, you have the evidence handy? Could you go ahead and point that out like, there? Didn't he say Council Hall? This, right? uh, versus phrasing it in that way. Basically the same I question. I was just but... going to, because we, we recorded it, I was just going to re you know, reference the date I'm of the recording. just asking for a date if he has a handy. Yeah, of course. See, the specific date's the, the 19th. Do you dispute me on that, Officer Roger? No, that sounds about right. I had a, I had a 9 in my, my head, but I felt like January 9th would have been uh, too early. Certainly. Sense. And what happened during the course of that interrogation? Um, well, we, we brought him in because we wanted to ask him about the gun. Uh, that was something that wasn't brought up in the, the first interrogation. Um, Mr. Braun stated that he didn't know where the gun came from. That he, he had no knowledge of it. Eventually. can't stand him. Eventually they stabbed him. All right, thank you very much. No further questions, Your Honor. Stab him with these daggers. No, I mean, like, I was going to take his kidney. Anyone well, else? I'm going to give him a dirty look. That's what I meant. No, I think we're all set. Thank you, Judge. All righty. And we have Cross. Okay, now... Speak up, man, Rami. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Kit. <clears throat> Hi, Rami. How you doing? How you doing today? You doing good? I'm a little bit Is nervous, Ray off and here? I'm okay. Oh, no, he's not. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so, lot, uh, so real quick, Kit, um, you said that uh, there was a dispatch call of a car leaving the scene, right? Um, what, what scene? You said you guys got a dispatch call of the, of there was a vehicle fleeing the scene of the robbery, right? I mean, it's in the, it's in the evidence. Is, is this, which, uh, th this isn't related to the 911, this is Correct. related to... It's it, uh, it, the dispatch calls. Yeah, there there was a dispatch call um, of a vehicle leaving the scene. Okay, and that vehicle was a Seminole, right? Uh, objection, uh, Your Honor. Misstates testimony and speculation. Oh, no, it doesn't. In her exact testimony, Your Honor, she literally said that they got a call of a vehicle fleeing the scene. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Your Honor, the witness previously stated in her testimony that she was not present. For the other scene, she specifically testified to arriving at the courthouse and that questioning the witness there, that the vehicle involved was a, a pickup, not a seminal. Your Honor, a pickup is... Yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, a pickup is different stupid, from a seminal there, Rami. We have one that is uh, technically four doors. Pickup is the back and the bed. Two separate things for that. And that Your was Honor... testified. Hold on, hold on. Give me a sec. I'm just going ahead and referencing the actual court record. Kermit, do you have anything in regard to uh, the dispatch call that was taking place of the scene where apparently Mr. Braun was involved? Do you have anything uh, on record? Are we that? talking about the kidnapping or the shooting? The shooting there. Is that what you're referring to there, Army? No, I'm referring to the dispatch call. Which one? Yeah, of which scene? Which one? Of the robbery of a deadly weapon. So the shooting where Braun was found. Uh, you have two uh, separate scene. dispatch calls yes, here. Yes, Romney. the one on you Joshua have... Road, correct. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, and by the way, a Seminole does have a bed, Your Honor. He, it's... A, a pickup is like a truck oh. with a like an open bed, like a like a bison. A Seminole is a a four by bison can be covered SUV. That's what we're saying, though. Right, so oh, that, that proves well, Oliver's <laughs> objection wrong. Okay, hold so um, ah, hold a on. Seminole was never mentioned before now. All right, that part was there. The, okay, yeah. can I rephrase my question then, Your Honor? Hold on. The second part with that was the dispatch. All right. There. Kirby? Um, the only thing mentioned about a dispatch call is just a vehicle leaving a scene. I don't think it was ever mentioned of a actual specific vehicle. But she said she got a call, Your Honor, of a vehicle fleeing the scene, which is the dispatch call I'm referring to. Yeah, I'm, I'm double checking just to make sure for you. I believe that was of the kidnapping that was referenced in the... Uh... By Mr. There Fernandez. Was, yeah, there was a 911 call stating somebody was being kidnapped in a pickup. Correct. After, yeah, there's a 911 call saying two kidnappers, and then when they arrived, when officers arrived on scene, they found Luis, or they ran into him, and Luis said that somebody was leaving in a pickup. All right. Didn't he, hey, didn't one she more say a time. Black and color truck? She, yes. Sorry, Your Honor. That was my next thing. Hold on. Hey, Council Hall, what was your objection one more time? Yeah, it was to Miss Day's testimony, Judge. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, black and color pickup truck. That's exactly what it says. Yes. Thank you. Here, so black and color pickup truck, two or three of them did not see looked around in area code six. That was in regards you to the black. Fernandez. I said down black. Yeah. Yeah. That was in regards to a kidnapping there from Mr. Fernandez. That was not in regards to uh, Mr. Braun there, Robbie. Would you like to go ahead and re-ask that question to be specific to the scenario that you're asking with? Yeah, go ahead. Write this down. Oliver Hall is smug as fuck. What the fuck is she talk is he talking about? The, the, okay. he, didn't he talk about... Yes. She was literally he, talking about she, the dispatch call, right? Kit Archer literally talked about the dispatch call, and she talked about someone being kidnapped, yeah. and she no, talked no, no, about no, it possibly no. being Delver she, Lee and shit. Thanks. Everything... Everything she's talking about is the kidnapping. The the truck yeah. remark that came from Luis. Okay, I trust Sebastian. He's been taking transcript notes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. But what I'm do I not do? Not taking transcript oh, notes. Fuck. What do I do? Oh my god. What do you, do you? Uh, Just do let, you it do? let it go. Let it go. It's not that important. So what's the point in the question? Like like legitimately the question. The point like, of the where, question where? is that I want to point yeah. out that Murphy got picked up in that dispatch call. Like that car, that pickup car that Luis is talking about is the same one that's in that dispatch call of Murphy yes, on scene. The Seminole could match. The it's the same shit. Up a pickup Murphy. truck is just her yeah. testimony. Like I don't give a fuck about that. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, that's Luis's uh, testimony. Yes. It was a large truck. I'm trying in to tie that. Closing, I, I know what Robbie's cooking. Truck. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, I, so no, what do I, how do I do cars that? Tie together. So what do I do? You can go the long way. You can go the long way and be like, well, this was this car. Where did that go from your investigation? Because she said she investigated. And then just go the long yeah. way. It's like, just ask the tiny questions in between so it connects the two together. Build the thread between it. Does that so, make sense? I'm, I'm confused, to be honest with you. Okay. You want to let Sami try? Yeah, you Sammy, go, you, you got go. this. Samantha, uh, uh, I wasn't nah, nah, listening. Nah, nah, nah. Me, I wasn't me... listening for the first half because I was texting with my babysitter, so I didn't. It's not fair for me to do that. Okay. Come on, you got I, this. I have. I have an idea. I have an idea. Was the Seminole this. on scene that they saw? Did they get the Seminole on scene or no? Just another couple of moments. Just no. Maybe we could not. Maybe it was maybe, in the maybe... dispatch. Seminole was in the dispatch yeah. from the shooting. Okay. But so... I'm saying that pickup truck that he called in for the 911 is probably the same Seminole. They, no, it's, they didn't catch is the, the Is that Seminole, was that on scene? Did they find it on scene? No, they got, they got a dispatch right. call that the Sem... Yeah. All right, sorry about that, Your Honor. All righty. Would you like to go ahead and uh, just yes. clarify, re ask the question for yeah, me? Yes, there. yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, let me just like... Yeah, I'll... Okay. Kit back. Did you... The yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, sorry. Kit, that Seminole that's in the dispatch call... Right? Was that found on scene? Which scene? Of Murphy. Uh, I was not on scene. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to Luis's uh, 911 call. He said it was a black pickup truck fleeing the courthouse, right? Yes. Okay. Then approximately, what was the time span between that 911 call and then the dispatch call? It was about half an hour. A half hour. Um, I also don't think it's necessary for the uh, defense. Everything is good, right? Sammy, we're on the same wavelength. I'll, you know, I'll, uh, that, that, I'll rest. I'll rest. But we don't rest. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just no we further questions. Yeah, no further questions. Uh, anyone else from the defense side? I don't know how I want to paint this. You guys get what I'm trying to do, right? Do I, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in yeah. Murphy's so call. Wait, this is I'll, all in Murphy. Sebastian, go do it. Counselor Burke. Sebastian, go. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Sorry for the delay. Uh, hey, kid. We can ask Hi, Sebastian. Those questions. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? The problem okay. is, this dumbass is objected to the That's fucking good. pickup shit. Um, and then the I, I judge agreed that a pickup isn't a... A Seminole um, is like a pickup truck. You said bro, Luis like... uh, mentioned that a clown and another man was kidnapped. That's correct. Um, what description did Luis give of the other man? He did not give a description. Okay, so he... Okay. Uh, I think that's it, honestly. Excuse me, Your Honor. I have a question for, for Sebastian. It's very important. Is it pertinent to the case? Or will it bully him? No, it's oh, not. <laughs> Go ahead and ask it there. <laughs> Sebastian, would you mind saying the, the word toilet for me? Say it. Uh, excuse me? No objection for the defense, Your Honor. No objection. Are you talking about toilet? 
Oh my what? god. What the hell did you Ooh. just say? Oh, that's embarrassing. Just thank go back. You. Th thank you, Your Honor, for that. Where I'm from, where I'm from, some people say bathroom. Your Honor, defense bathroom. motions to add two sparkly star emojis in the court record between his word of toilet. Carmen, go ahead. <laughs> the note of the I don't even know place. how to spell that. Toilet? It's T-O-I-L-E-T. It's not like, -L -E -T. No, it's not, it's not like you said tulip. All right. <laughs> thank, thank you, Your Honor. Uh-huh. Ah, prosecution, anything else? Thank you. Just a couple more questions, Your Honor. I want to clarify, Officer Archer. Did uh, Mr. Fernandez provide any evidence of his call to the defendant? Uh... Objection personal no. knowledge? What do you mean? Sorry. Yeah, Your Honor, I'm asking the witness if Mr. Fernandez provided her with any evidence that the call between him and the defendant actually took place. So it would be within her personal knowledge. She could say yes, she could say no, she could elaborate. We, we, were, we just had an objection concerning the phrasing of the question. If he wants to rephrase that question, I will withdraw. What's your issue with the question? You didn't uh, it's, too much more around that. You just said objection. Uh, yes, sir. Objection, personal knowledge. But I, it, the way he phrased that question implies that she would know more. Or it could take implication that she would know specifics between the call, which hasn't been testified to. So I'm objecting to personal knowledge because we do not believe at this time she has the knowledge to that. Well, you don't believe it. I'm going to go ahead and overrule it. That's fine. Go ahead and ask the question because now we can figure it out. I was doing that, right? Yeah, I saw it. Can you repeat that for you, Officer yes, please. Certainly. Yeah, did Mr. Fernandez produce any evidence supporting his claim that he had called the defendant? No, he did not. All right, and I guess just to button this issue up, based on your investigation, was there any evidence linking this reported kidnapping with the scene up on Joshua Road? No, there was not. Did you find any evidence at all that the defendant had been kidnapped? No, we did not. Oh, Thank you. No what? further questions. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, well, sorry, was there an objection? All right, sorry. Forgot to no. All righty. Anyone else from prosecution? Where'd uh, Slacks go there? Your Honor, not sure what our uh, Captain Sachs went, but we we're so all set on questions. Thank you. All righty. Uh, defense, would you like to recall my uh, officer no. Archer here? No. All righty. We shouldn't. All right. Ready to go if I want to? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate that. Thanks Have for yourself coming. a wonderful day. Yeah. I'm not asking for DNA because if I do DNA, it's going to fuck over X. So smarmy. I thought you were gonna practice. I'm not gonna hey, let's go ahead. Prosecution, anybody else? No, Your Honor. This you know, Archer's like the nicest rest. person who's ever investigated me. I swear to God. Very nice. Yeah, she's nice. Like, watch fans. Uh, we'd like to call Murphy Braun up to the stand. We want to recall Mr. Flop Braun first. No, we're gonna recall Flop after. Relax the approach there. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Mr. Dangle. Hey, what's going on, man? You uh, you know, you know that thing, right? With the swearing, you're sworn in. Um, yeah, I swore in at the beginning, I think. All right, perfect, cool. Take a freaking seat, man. Can do. Oh, let me uh, let me try that again. In the chair, not inside the chair, man. Unless it makes you feel comfortable, man. I don't want to know Murphy's kinks in the middle of trial, please. Sorry, I'm used to I'm used to like sitting up there. It's just a freaking chair, man. To be fair, in my experience, that chair is incredibly heavy. I'm not sure yeah, what is his line of questioning at the end. Who were you with? Who is he? Who is he supposed to point to? Oh, never mind. Um, uh, you know, I, I thought fucking I gotta change that. That was all wrong. That was um, that was when I thought I was gonna be called as an expert, uh, called as a witness, because he was with but, me that day. Look, it's a fucking difficult chair. So um, I'm very stressed. Freestyle, out. Romy. Hey, uh, you're so stressed you can't sit in a chair, man. Yes. I don't know what to do. Um, interesting, interesting. You can talk about his injuries. There, good. Where man. he was shot. 
Eh, that looks safety. Who's that? Alrighty. Counselor El Rahim. Did I say your last name correctly, actually? Yeah, El Rahman. El Rahman. Sorry, I think I said Rahim. My apologies. Go ahead. Murphy. Uh, where were you on the day of December 17th? Uh, I was at the, uh, wait, December 17th, you said? Yes. Oh, uh, December 17th, uh, I was, uh, very busy. I was working grime at the time. I was not yet a judge. And, uh, me and my, uh, wife at the time were trying to get settled in after moving back to the city. Okay. And is your wife here in court today or at the time? Uh, at the time, yes, uh, she is present. Can you today. point to her, please? Sure. Uh, who are you pointing to? Counselor Fitzpatrick. Right. So Siobhan. Correct. And how long were you guys getting settled into moving into the city? Um, together until uh, around or about December 27th. From December fifteenth. Okay, so you you were with her that whole those whole like week and a half, we'll say, for about sorry, twelve Honor, days. I'm gonna object to relevance at this point. Your Honor, December seventeenth but... is the night of the uh, gun being robbed off of uh, Leo Slacks. Well, Your Honor, I'm gonna object to relevance and in, in facts, not in evidence. There's no evidence to support that's the date that the the firearm was stolen, um, and this is not relevant as in this is a completely separate date. Um, with respect to the scope of this case. Your Honor, it actually is in the it's in the report of them talking and referencing the weapon being stolen off of Slacks. It's also an interrogation, Your Honor, in the report. All right, let me Slacks take a look at this. Is there a specific section I should be looking at here? I'm just bullshitting, honestly. Uh, well, you have the interrogations, as Siobhan said. Yeah, Murphy, and, go on interrogation. Uh, give me one sec. Hey, this is a video, yes? Correct. Correct. Is there a timestamp? Uh, it's referenced several times throughout the interrogation, Your Honor. I, I couldn't give an exact timestamp at this moment. Uh, do me a favor, because uh, this is, if that is mentioned in the interrogation, it is put into evidence at that time. I need one of y'all to actually get me a timestamp, and at this time, just go ahead and move on from the question, and then we'll come back and revisit it in case someone is able to do so. Because, frankly, I'm not going to go through everything and try can, to find the exact time. Can, can I have state. another rebuttal? Uh, you may, yes. Uh, we've already proceeded down this line of questioning. He could have objected to that relevance about three questions ago. So yeah. we've already, it's already in the records that of the night of December 17th. Can I respond, Judge? Yes, you may. Thank you. The objection is now being raised because the previous line of questioning had to do with the defendant's relationship and him getting along with his ex-wife in the weeks leading up. And then this latest question had to do with a gun being stolen on this date. Just because that specific date was in the record doesn't mean they can continue asking this line of questioning if it's not relevant. If uh, the, Your Honor, if he, just proved my, the, he just proved my point, Your Honor. Can I, can I Hold on, Robbie. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. And I, I guess now it's being made an issue. We'd move to strike the portions of the testimony that are relevant having to do with this date on December 17th. Uh, rebuttal, Your Honor? Last one. He literally just proved my point. I was setting up the foundation, and then the second I mentioned the gun getting taken is when he started objecting. He, he literally just proved my point. Ah. Once again, I'm going to have to understand the time that this came into... Uh interrogation or a timestamp related to it once again if y'all can uh, establish that for now move on from that question there robbie you may go ahead and revisit it i'm not opposed to keeping that scope open with it he did lay down a foundation as to a date and those were not objected to and if it is given in any part of evidence that re that actually is used at any point during the interrogation then it should be allowed here within this courtroom i do not want to obscure or remove evidence that could be ex exculpatory towards his story. All right. Okay. 
Well, you don't have to go oh. ahead and oh push my God. Push Archer. Push Kid Archer, Oliver. Very sorry, Your Honor. It's because Very you're right. upset. You're objecting. Apologize, you're apologize to Archer. You said the word Apologize. Kid. I think there was so like sorry, a spider Archer. on me. You think he oh. saved my life. All right. Sif. Ah. Oh. Uh, you're okay. Murphy. Yes, go ahead. Um, yes. Do you know what day you became a judge? December 21st. Okay, and did you take a swear to preserve an oath? Objection, oh. relevance. Go ahead. Your Honor, we, we already talked. Oh, fucking brother. Your Honor, we are establishing <laughs> scope. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and once again, I will overrule the objection. Thank he you. did uh, ask those questions during cross-examination of Mr. Officer Dugong originally about oaths being taken with judges. Let's try, Oliver. I allow the question to continue. Go ahead. Did you, tell you, did you swear to preserve an oath, Murphy? Um, yes. What was that oath? Um... I mean, I would have to, like, look it up. It's been a while, but, uh, you know, in short, to up, uphold justice and, okay. uh, and maintain law and order and have integrity and hmm. uh, and serve the public. Right. Maintain law and order. One would say to preserve law and order, right? Um, to ensure fair justice, yes. And, and you know, that results in, in law and order being maintained. Okay. Now, um... Would you consider that the definition of a peace officer? Um, uh, I, I could, yeah, I could see it. Um, you know, it is certainly applicable in, in some jurisdictions. Uh, others have different distinctions. Okay. Now, you have maintained a clean record up until uh, throughout this entire time. Uh, honestly, even uh, until this court case from your time in Los Santos, correct? Objection, leading, counsel. Um, I'll rephrase the question. Have, do you have a clean record? Uh, I believe I have a warning for speeding, and that's it. Okay. Nothing I, was criminal. I was issued a... I think it's documented that I was issued a warning. But no, no citations uh, or anything. Okay. And let's go fast forward to the night of this entire incident. Uh, can you run through me your day? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I woke up and uh, went to the clothing store to pick out an outfit uh, for Raymond's birthday party at the Liquid Library. After which I went to City Hall and was on duty there with uh, Judge Norman Adams for some time before the civil case of Ramaswamy versus I'll thank Kobus. all the subs chat. I'll, th I'll thank of, all the subs. Um, which I attended uh, nearly in full before leaving at around 9 p.m. Eastern to attend uh, Raymond's birthday party. Okay. And when you were on duty with Norman, what did you guys do? Did you hang out? Uh, yeah, we just uh, hung out and spilled the tea, uh, talked about our plans for the day, um, more or less. Okay. Did, you receive any, did you receive any phone calls that were threatening or, you know, like... You just you op let me strike that you operated the day normally. Uh yeah, it was uh it was just a normal day. It's okay. a pretty good mood. Uh, Raymond's birthday party. Can you break that down for me? Uh, how that went? Uh yeah. Um, so it was extremely crowded. There had to be like a hundred people there. So. It was kind of it was kind of difficult to uh, get around and socialize. I remember that, and uh, there's uh, some pretty good music there, but um, yeah, it's very difficult to like talk to people. Okay, and how long were you there for? Uh, to the best of my recollection, the music performances lasted maybe around an hour. There were okay. like four and or five artists. Did you show up with anybody to the party? Uh, no. Uh, I, I came alone. Okay, and did you leave with anybody at the party? Uh, no. Um, I did not find uh, who I went there to see. Okay, now let's go back to your day. Leaving the party, can you explain to me what happened after? Um, after the party is kind of where things get 
hazy, uh, but I vaguely recall getting a phone call about uh, questions about becoming a lawyer uh, mm. and requesting a meeting. Okay, and were you inebriated uh, at this party? Uh, as I stated in both of my interviews, I had one or two drinks at the party because it was super packed and the lines were long. Okay. And uh, I really didn't stay long. But you were under your own control, right? Yeah, one or two drinks. I wasn't okay. like wasted. You weren't or drunk or wasted. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you left the party. Explain to me what happened. Well, like I said, after after the party is where things get really spotty. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't know if I just said that twice. Yeah, like the, the only thing I remember uh, before the shooting is, uh, like I said, I, I vaguely recall um, a call about being a contacted about about some, some judge business, something about becoming a lawyer, interest list type stuff. From that point on, what do you remember? It was your, was your, what is your first uh, memory? Waking up in the hospital? I... It's basically oh, complete. Just do me a favor, please don't testify for I mean, him. Your Honor, he's not, nobody's objecting. So, I mean, you know what I mean? But I got I'm you. Just doing due diligence. I got here. you. I got you. It's not my fault if Oliver isn't, you know, objecting. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, if he's an experienced, he's an experienced, Your Honor. Let's just say it here to standards and policy. If he's not, right? if he's not experienced, Your Honor, whose fault <laughs> is that? Sorry, you know what I mean? I, I'd ask that the court uh, instruct defense counsel not to impugn my character. Your Honor, I'm just simply stating factual statements here. If he's not objecting, it's not my fault. He's inexperienced in the objections department. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> go ahead and continue, please. Uh, what was is my... He... Yeah, go ahead, uh, Murph. Uh, well, is, what uh, is your is first memory to... after that uh, lawyer call? Um, It's pretty much like uh, waking up in the hospital, but I do have a brief impression of the moment that I was shot. Go into it. Um, it was, it was daylight. Uh, I believe, you know, it is stated in the report also where around I was, it was, it was, I was around sand. So it's very bright, kind of, kind of like washed out colors. And, uh, I just remember seeing a gun being raised up mm -hmm. and, uh, something blocking the person's face. I don't know if it was a mask or a helmet or just like something in the way. Like I said, it was very bright and everything is washed out the way I remember it. And you gave that testimony to the officers and during the interrogation and your statement out of the hospital. In the second interview, I believe I had remembered uh, by was that coming point because I had recovered from my uh, my head injury. Okay. Um, the gun raising to your head and everything and the call. Um... Were the, uh, give me a sec, uh, your honor. How do I say this? Let's fast forward to the, uh, out of, uh, out of this whole situation. Complying with the police. Did the police ask you to give your SIM card? Uh, my phone had been stolen and was missing when I woke up in the hospital, so... Okay. Uh, I gave them my phone number so that they could back trace uh, whatever records they could find. Okay. So your phone was stolen. And the only thing you remember is a guy in a possible mask raising a gun to your head. And then at that point, you woke up out of the ICU. Uh, yes. And there was uh, Cornwood and I believe Archer there uh, waiting for me when I woke up. Okay. Now, and you completely complied with the officers, correct? Uh, yes, they've had my full cooperation through the investigation. I've responded to each of their uh, requests for interviews, uh, which were, I was informed voluntary. So, you know, I was never placed under arrest and forced to answer questions. It was uh, all on a voluntary basis as far as I was told. Okay, and do you believe you were set up, Mr. Murphy? Uh, I certainly don't have reason to believe that uh, I had any cause to illegally possess a firearm belonging to captain of the police force uh no i i, I don't believe that uh that uh i had that uh for any, for any purpose other than to be set up as you say so you do it's a yes or no question murphy you believe you were set up correct objection uh, fucking say yes murphy holy go ahead fuck and that please do you believe you were you set up he's not giving him <laughs> here you go uh, uh yeah yeah thank In you murphy holy opinion, fuck yes I okay 
Uh, that is all, Your Honor, I believe. Let me see if my counsel has any other questions. I mean, we're skimming I'm through the sure time we, I'm pretty sure we hit the nail on the head, right? I mean... You're amazing. Uh, Your Honor, uh, let's just... I think my counsel's still just getting ready for that, uh, um... Uh, what do you call it? Interrogation thing. Time stamps and the yeah. interrogation. Alrighty. Oh, wait, I have one question. Can I ask him if he's an yeah. asshole under oath? No. <sighs> Never mind, I don't have any questions. No, let her let her ask. Wait, why? Who cares? So Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. So petty, Siobhan. Insane. Yes, she is. I would just uh, like to motion to be petty for a moment. You're not. You're always petty. Okay, well, never mind. It's um, not my motion okay. to be petty. Can we just recall Murphy, and then when we when they get the interrogation, uh, I guess we can go into that if that gets found and you approve of the objection or not, or if you just if you uh, deny the objection. Sorry, sorry. Oh my. Uh... Well, Your Honor, we uh, we don't object oh. if they bring this up on redirect, so long as we get a recross specific in scope to the. Then, so then, why object that at all? Let me just can ask the oh, question. Hold on, then. hold on. I the same way as going with this. So uh, I was thinking both y'all going with this. So technically, if you would want to recall him based upon the the evidence being found and presented in front of me of a timestamp that incurs the date in question where Mister Slack's weapon was uh, procured from him that is relevant to the case that we have here, I will allow for, once again, a direct across and a redirect to be reopened again. Okay, uh, can I just say one thing, though? Go ahead. I mean, he just said that he's going to withdraw the objection if we can, if he can get his line of questioning in, and then he can get a redirect after. He's literally just using it for his own purpose. Sorry, that, he, Your Honor, like, that is not what I you said. You literally just said that. Ah, back up, back up. Go ahead. Can I clarify what I said, Judge? Uh, yes, please. I, I offer to proceed with the cross-examination as normal, and then if they find the timestamp or the evidence no, 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 no. talking huh. about, then they can bring <laughs> oh, it up on redirect, guy. and then we would get a specific recross to address that. Your Honor, he just scope. completely changed his uh, what he just said before that. That's that not what, what he said. Originally hey, hey, this is how... Okay. All right. I, I'm not trying to do a personal game here. I'm not trying to go ahead and grant someone any outside evidence or something else to their own benefit with this. That if it is produced, once again, I will allow within the same context that we do here, there is a scope and it has to be specific towards a scope, Mr. Rami, of what you would like to ask the questions about and allow him to also keep it within scope at that point. It will be controlled to only those incidents. That's it. So you define the scope with your own direct he goes ahead and crosses with it, and then you go ahead and redirect. That's it. All right. Okay. There, there's, there's, the there's no part of this that wouldn't potentially already have uh, occurred if it was already okay. in evidence. Can I, can I ask some questions then? I still have yes, a couple more go questions. Ahead. Murphy, uh -huh. you were yes. interrogated, right? Uh, interviewed on two occasions. Okay. And in those interrogations, did they ask about you? Did they ask you about December 17th? Uh, no, I don't believe they What did. the fuck is I wrong with this wrong. guy? Is he fucking stupid or dumb? Are you fucking dumb or stupid, Murphy? Which one is it? I mean, I, I can hear you, it. and please do not no. try to persuade <laughs> sorry, that. Sorry about that, Your Honor. Sorry. I'm really, I'm really... Right next of course, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I'm really, I'm honestly not sure. 100%. Okay, I guess we'll just wait for the council. I had a head fucking, injury. Holy fuck. Is Murphy fucking brain dead or is he dumb? He remembers that. He he is an idiot. He he this guy is an idiot. Is so oh, dumb, it's loud. insane. All right, I mean, Your Honor, we'll just withdraw and then we'll wait for uh, we'll wait for the interrogations to come back and then see what happens. It would you want me to more. note you that, had uh, the actual another. question there? Do you want me to note that Rami asked so if he was stupid or dumb under the uh, record? <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! The answer's no. <laughs> you mother I get to answer. No, no. <laughs> Am I putting that under the record? Or yes, you all. It was a question <laughs> asked directly. Got her. My client has not recovered. Oh, never mind. The answer <laughs> no. Rami, be careful. That is all, Your Honor. We'll we'll just re recall him, and then uh, in that time, hopefully, they can get the the timestamp of the interrogation, and we can proceed with how we uh, with the, with the with this scenario situation. Yes. And of course, once again, this comes without question. And I'd hope that y'all do your due diligence before this and point these things out and understand that yes, if Honor, you bring these up during questioning, you should have them readily available. My, my apologies, Your Honor. 
Uh huh. Moments when they talked about the gun. I'm allowing just a bit of leniency with this. Huh? Normally, I would shut that down. Of course. <laughs>